For those of you downloading Modern Warfare Remastered because of the H2 mod that's going to release soon, you may encounter an issue where you get an out of memory error when launching the game for the first time. This has been an issue with the PC version for quite a while, and I'll go ahead and show you one of the quickest ways to fix it. To do this, we are going to be using a mod. This is the H1 mod, similar to H2 mod. This is a mod for the H1, which is Modern Warfare Remastered. That adds some custom stuff, allows you to connect to dedicated servers and do some modding. But we're only going to be using this because it actually has a memory fix. What you want to do is on the right side, go ahead and click on whatever the latest release is. As of this video, it's 2.01. Click on h1mod.exe to go ahead and download it. We need to open the game directory for the Modern Warfare Remastered game. So go ahead and right click on the game, go to manage, and then hit browse local files. You'll get this folder with a bunch of thick files in it. And then go ahead and drag and drop the downloaded file, H1 mod, into this game directory. Now what you'll want to do is actually run this uh, run this program with a special parameter. If you right click on Windows 11 and click on Open Terminal, that'll open a black window here. If you're on Windows 10, go ahead and hold Shift and then right click and you should see Open PowerShell window here. Now we're going to type H1 dash, then you press Tab to go ahead and auto-complete the command, and then we're going to type dash memory fix. Go ahead and hit enter. That should launch the H1 mod client. From here, we can launch the multiplayer. Once you're loaded into the client, you'll be asked if you want to switch to your gamepad, hit yes or no, depending on how you play. You'll also be prompted to populate the shader cache. Note, if you have an RTX GPU, 2000, 3000, or 4000 series, you'll want to hit no. If you have an AMD card, you can hit yes, but it does take several minutes to populate. But if you're on an NVIDIA card, you must hit no, otherwise the game will crash. Now that you've loaded into the H1 mod client, we don't necessarily need to play dedicated servers. We can go ahead and switch back to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered multiplayer. So go ahead and quit the game. And once we're back in on Steam, you can go ahead and hit play as usual. And what that'll do is it'll launch Modern Warfare Remastered and you should no longer have that memory fix, memory error when launching the game. So now that we're loaded into the game, you'll once again be asked about the gamepad prompt. But as you can see, the game has successfully launched. If we go ahead and hit play online, we should be able to find the game as usual and actually play Modern Warfare Remastered until H2M comes out. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share if anyone might find it helpful. And thank you for watching.